Look at the camera, Miss Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> You're as stubborn as me. Which is my better side? <laughs> They're both beautiful. Oh, no, the, the front is. You're a no, front that's side. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I need to position a little bit here because the, the lighting is. Aye, aye, aye. He's not giving up. Yeah, I can see that. He's like a pit bull with a bum. I'm okay. not. Michelle, you should really should just be our spokesperson because you're much more <sighs> gregarious and charismatic and photogenic than I am. Don't try to get out of this. Well, it's true. <laughs> You're the social bird. I'll just do the behind the scenes. Okay. Okay, Michelle. No. Okay. I'll, uh, you do the talking and I'll just sit here and look good. How's that? Oh, no. Actually, I can't do that right now because I feel like I'm half dressed. She's got... I rolled out of bed. I am. Um, I have nothing to say. Well, why would Actually, someone she looks hire pretty you? nice. Okay. She looks nice. See? Um, He's just trying to no, build no, you my do. confidence. Thank you no, for that. No, you do. I'm, I'm very skeptical and cynical, itch, so itch. good luck with that. So explain the short sale. Yeah, okay. What's a short sale? Stop chewing your gum. I'm chewing gum. This is... Let me go get rid of my gum. Okay. Michelle, Come on, Michelle. A short sale basically is when someone is upside down on their house. They owe more than the value of the house presently. Short and simple. So, what is upside down? Upside down. Financially. You owe more than? You owe more than the value of the home. The present okay. value of the home. So why should we hire you? Uh, it, we, why should you hire me? It's rare to find someone with the integrity and the passion uh, that is willing to put themselves on the line. And we fight to the death for our clients. Okay, keep going. I don't know. Uh, so talk it? about your experience. Uh, with over 20 years of experience as a team, 12 years independently each, we uh, have worked for, we both work for Prudential and Coldwell Banker. Uh, which right now brings to the table, I don't know, two companies. I don't, see, I don't know what to say. <laughs> keep going, keep going. <laughs> this is why you have to think things through. So why did you become a real estate agent? Uh, I was an investor in real estate prior to uh, working for other people. I, did, I made, according to others, good choices in real estate and did well for myself. So others asked me to help them do so. And in doing so, I got my license and moved forward as a top producer for the last 10, 12 years. So what, what's the most satisfaction that you get out of doing what you do? I Why do you do what you do? I enjoy people happy. I enjoy helping people. How do you do it? How do I do it? Uh, with honesty, educating people, helping them make good choices, guiding them along the way. So what made you number one? What do you do different? To make people happy? Oh, you know me. what? Um, sorry. Go ahead. Wait, we have to interrupt there because everybody says they're number one. That's yeah. all bullshit. I, I think being excellent at what we do is, is, most, important. is most important. I don't think ranking we're ourselves and, and number one in what I, I mean a lot of agents do multiple sales and they don't do a good job on any of them so if they're saying they're number one because they sell more more homes than we do we don't necessarily agree with that it's the quality of what we do and the service that we give our clients we do everything hands-on and we don't use assistance to to do everything for us because we have too much business because we are number one don't, don't film any of this. Oh, that was no, beautiful. But the number one is very cliche. Oh, that, I hate that hearing that. It is. Every agent says they're number one, and, and what exactly are they number one? In what, in, I want to be number one in satisfaction of my clients. That'd be nice. <laughs> uh, it, I enjoy helping people. That's why I'm in it. I enjoy seeing people happy. So what, what's a day like? What, what do you do for the day? She shaves when she gets up in the morning. <laughs> yeah. What? I'm on the golf course. We're on the golf course all afternoon. <laughs> That's what we do. You don't 
about something, something. Shaving your legs would be more attractive than him shaving his face. <laughs> and he's pretty big guy too, big fat guy. The <laughs> guy. Uh, um, what's a typical day? There is no such thing as a typical day in the real estate world, is there? I think that's the most typical thing is that every day is different. And part of what we love about it is that every day we're working with different people and getting to see all different homes and come up against all different challenges, as far, especially in this economy with the short sales and the bank owned. It's a really different market than we've seen in the past 10 years. Absolutely. it's a We are problem solvers. I, if I had to describe... It, real estate, short and simple, it would be uh, problem solving, and keeping it going, keeping, keep going, <laughs> keep us. problem what, solving. What kind of it's problem majority do you solve? Majority of the real estate job. What kind of problem do you solve? What kind of problems? Wow, where to begin? Um, septic tanks, <laughs> sewer lines, termite reports, uh, home inspections. Um, bad agents. It's not <laughs> even getting with... into all the financial aspects of it with the short sales and when people are in default on their property and they're debating whether to do a loan modification or if they have to do a short sale. And the whole process with short sales can take months and months and months. A year. And yeah. trying to protect the homeowner from getting going to trustee sale and foreclosure and just all of the emotional grief that they're going through with our current financial situation that, that many of these people are in that we're working with. Yeah. Um, a lot of the situations that happen are out of our hands. A lot of the problems, a lot of the situations with the banks presently, we're, it's out of our hands. We, can, we do our best to get information to our clients and pass information through to the banks and get cooperation on all ends from all parties, but um, I think emotionally it's been really challenging emotionally for clients as well as ourselves to deal with this economy and the bank situation presently. Okay. Hi. You have enough to work with, right? How do you <laughs> get along? Us? How you're do you get along? Oh, you're beautiful. <laughs> How do you get along these days? With a wish and a prayer. <laughs> How do you get alone? You start by talking with your lender. Um, start by talking with the lender and is that what you said? How do you get along? Yeah. How do oh, you get I thought along? you said, how do you get along? How do we get along? Thank God we get along well. <laughs> it's like a marriage. <laughs> um, that's one. I don't have to think. She does what I say before I think it. Well, while I'm thinking it, she's doing it. Or vice versa. We're kind of. We're in sync with each other. Absolutely in sync. makes a good partnership. And. What? <laughs> His sarcasm Absolutely runs crazy. Nothing. Very sarcastic. It helps you get through the day. So, what should a homeowner know about their agent? What What should they look for in an agent? Honesty and integrity. No hard work. Oh, there's plenty of that, but honesty, I would think would come first they're gonna your agent we tell our clients what the truth is they may not always want to hear it I think that if you have your clients best interests at heart which if you have honesty and integrity that's you you, you have to have their best interests at heart honest. and the hard work just follows and real estate there is so much work to be done if you're really looking after the best interests of your clients and that's what we're concerned about so for us it does it boils down to just honesty and integrity and everything else follows so how should you find a, a real estate agent sarahandmichelle.com <laughs> sounds good to me the uh Oh, what was it? I was going to say something and I completely drew a blank. This is why we need scripts. Yeah. <laughs> okay.